Hi, can you guys uh, see me? Seems like uh... okay. Yeah, perfect. Okay, yeah. So, hi everyone. So. So let's wait for others for a couple of more minutes and then uh, we will begin. Yeah. <clears throat> can you guys hear me? Just comment in the chat if you, you can hear me. Perfect. Thank you, Sonal. Yeah, thanks for that. Uh, yeah. So let's let's wait for a uh, couple of minutes and then uh, we will join. Because I also noticed that YouTube notifications are also delayed today. It just notified now that session is live after after two minutes. So yeah, just begin. Uh, just stay with me. And uh, yeah. So first of all, happy happy New Year to all of you and uh, hope you had a yesterday yesterday you had a nice evening and uh, you you celebrated enjoyed with your family today so definitely hopefully it's this year brings a lot of success and happiness to your lives and you get what you wish for yourself so that's all so just stay focused do Focus on what you want to do, what you want to achieve, and definitely you will make it at the end. So that's that's uh, hopefully let's let's uh, it's going to work out for everyone. Yeah. So hi Mon, hi Mayuresh, hi. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Hope you guys are also doing good. So yeah. So yeah. Just comment uh, uh, in the chat if you if you if you think that yes that's a good year to start and we let's let's do a quick uh, in the chat uh, just say hi or uh, you you can say what resolution you have for this year in the chat and then we will we will quickly start our session after that so it's good to know what you are looking forward to and yeah so basically definitely we we will definitely okay i went cut okay then let us let us begin and then uh, yeah Hi, hi, Gautam. So, so okay. Uh, so today's session is about the courses available at LMU Munich, right? It's a uh, uh, Ludwig's Maximilian University at Munich. Uh, so it's a very renowned university. It's a very old university, if you might have heard. And there are a lot of very good courses available there. So, uh, so which is definitely uh, you will learn a lot about this university today. And then I, may, I will share the courses. First of all, uh, it's the premier academic and research institute, which was founded in 1472. And in Munich, it has two campuses and it offers rich list of courses, MSc, M Master of Arts, MBA programs. And the good thing is that normally people say that no, no, MBA, no free MBA programs are available in Germany or they are very few but yes this university offers very good list of mba programs which you can go for um, like normally the fee for them is just uh, less than 150 euros uh, per semester so definitely it's definitely it's very good and uh, if you look for it and you uh, you can apply to that i'm going to share all the information related to the courses software, medical, MBA, non-tech courses. If you are a, a guy who is coming from non-tech background, for example, you want to do master's in English, economics, uh, MBA in insurance. So 
this is the place where you will get all the information about those courses okay so let's begin first with the with the msc courses so here you can see here is the list list of english programs you can see there is a big list of uh, english programs which you can which you can go for uh, there is american history culture and society astrophysics biochemistry data science economics english studies um, epid uh, epidemiology evolution ecology and systematics geo paleobiology so whether you are coming from science background whether you are coming from biology background whether you are coming from engineering background so these courses are definitely you can target insurance masters mba okay uh, international health uh, philosophy of science management okay and then uh, there is this uh, media management digital technologies okay and then meteorology molecular so definitely you see a good combination of courses and you can shoot for them those definitely so we will we will discuss the main courses which based on what kind of students come in from india we will based on that we will shortly go over the main courses and then from there on um, uh, you can see you can also look for yourself after after this session okay so let's first start with the basically uh, data science i also talked in the last session about lmu munich so i don't need to touch that again so you can just if you are interested in data science and haven't uh, attended the last session you can just go there go into the last session and uh, you will you will find lot of information about lmu uh, data science courses there so it's really going to be helpful for you okay so next as i said uh, it offers both uh, uh mba as well as master of science courses there this is another uh, website from the uh, same university it's there uh, another school which is called as munich school of management so sometimes you look for the courses at lmu and you come on the website and you don't find the mba courses but then you have to visit a different website from the uh, from the lmu this is the website where you can see uh, all those other courses related to uh, administration or human resources uh business research for example here you can we can see bachelor of science in business administration mastering masters in business administration human resource education and management master business research and then media management and digital technologies and european triple degree it's a exchange program which you which you can go for and then there is some executive masters of insur insurance and the good thing is that you don't have to pay a lot of fee for these courses so we will definitely touch upon all of them uh, uh, at at a very high level and from there on you can decide what you want to go for uh, uh, when you when you are applying at lmu what kind of courses you want to go for based on your background based on uh, your skills okay so let's move further yeah so first course i want to talk about is software engineering okay they are calling it as elite master program which means they are looking for highly skilled who are really competitive candidates they are looking for that kind of applicants in the course so if you feel that okay you carry a great experience and you you have done masters from a great institute with the with the great scores and you carry a great score in uh, in ielts or you have taken the gmat or gre then this course is definitely for you you can target this course okay it is for winter semester only and it's a joint program between lmu university of augsburg and tum that's why it's a very very premier institute it's a very premier course which is a combination of three universities professors from three universities are coming together and going to teach you uh, in this course so it's if you study at this university you, you will definitely get gain a lot of value and you will have a really shining career in germany after studying masters here okay so to get admission into this course you need bachelor in cs or information technology or any related area right and then uh, uh, basically as i said it's a elite master pro master program 
so they are looking for top 2% of the applicants let's say uh, because as per their website they have clearly mentioned that okay let's say if 1000 applicants have applied then they will pick up only 20% 20 candidates out of those 1000 application applications and they will uh, they will get them onto the course so that's why it's highly competitive if you carry great background and you are really interested then you can definitely go for that another point i want to say uh, if you are not a person who is very competitive, then I would really recommend not to apply for that course, not to waste so much time, efforts and energy into the course because it's highly likely you will get into the, into the course. So just think about it. Where do you stand? And then you can apply. As I have already mentioned, they are looking for outstanding grades, outstanding uh, I'll score or these kind of details okay you when you are submitting your application you have to provide general documentation like you normally do your CV your experience letter your recommendation letters but they are also asking for description of grading scheme of your bachelors in your home country in your in, in the India or in some other countries right for example uh, you have a percentage system or you have a grade system out of one from one out of ten uh, one to ten or from a b c d e f so whatever you have they are looking for uh, that kind of grading system they want to know how uh, candidate get scores on that grading system okay and then uh, i like a great thing about this course is that you will be taught by uh, guest lectures, lecturers from Siemens, Capgemini and MSG systems. If you don't know what is um, uh, uh, which company is it, MSG system, it's a German company, it's a renowned and very established company. So you will be, there will be guest lectures coming in in the course who will be teaching there. Uh, so I think it's really good. You will be learning a lot from industry specialists. So it's really going to add a lot of value in, in your career. Okay, and here is the link where you can apply. Uh, basically, they have given the description of the course. So, as you can see, it's a MSc program. It's a elite master software engineering program, and they have given the description what topics will be covered. They will be focusing on software engineering methods, uh, formal methods, IT security databases. This will be the scope of the course. Okay, so you can see accordingly if you are interested and uh, <coughs> Uh, so the basically as I already mentioned it's a combination of uh, uh, it's a joint effort from University of Augsburg and uh, Technical University of München so you can expect a lot of value in this course okay and they have clearly mentioned that candidate must be having a bachelor in computer science or in related areas okay and to apply I can show you how you can apply to the course you have to apply directly on University of Augsburg website and uh, right now applications are not open for 2021 so they took the candidates from 2020 and applications are closed now but you can just keep the uh, keep this page on the on your watch list you can keep checking when are the dates uh, even there is a date section you can go over there and see when are the applications opening up right so they have clearly written down they are looking for the outstanding grade person uh, personal dedication which trans transcends the compulsory program into normal study course fluent in written and spoken english okay so this is the main requirement and then yeah basically just keep watching uh, this course uh, keep checking from time to time you will definitely um, you might get a great opportunity to study at this program okay so yeah and now yeah this is uh that's it about this course and uh you can you can ping the questions in the chat and then i will answer them later on okay and uh, let's move on to the next course i want to talk about uh, which you can take at lmu next is biochemistry if you are coming from biology background if you are coming from chemistry background if you are coming for biochemistry background you can definitely target this course this is this course is offered at lmu in both summer and winter semester as i said chemistry biochemistry or biology are the main requirement for the course and then uh, the thing is that for this course you have to go through the entrance exam which will be of 90 minutes at munich campus and then uh, they also on their website they have also listed the textbooks and topics uh, which which will be tested 
uh, when you are applying when you are going through the entrance exam and you all everyone has to go through this entrance exam to apply at this university and uh, yeah basically that's the thing and they have clearly wrote down that you must be having at least 72 percent of the total grades uh, in your bachelor's so if you have that level of score you carry good experience so definitely that that course you can target because biochemistry is definitely a bright field and it's a growing field and will it was always growing and it, it will also grow in future and the semester fee for the course is 128 euros per semester so which is nothing you can consider that course if you are bright candidate definitely and uh, also one more thing i want to mention here you have to apply to the university directly and also to the international office website so you have to make two applications and once the application is approved by both of them then you will get the admission okay so let us look at their website uh, about the program <clears throat> okay so as i said i have already mentioned about uh, what will be taught in the program okay and it's a four semester program and uh, they have given given the fee breakdown it it offers you the public transportation ticket and uh, other student services contribution so this fee is nothing if you are looking to study for free in germany that's a that's a uh, good course for you if you are coming out of a medical background right so let's look in more detail in about this course so this is the website uh, this is the course website which you can go for okay they are here you can see uh, all about the course they have mentioned the program structure you can see all the credit points they have in in the course right compulsory and elective modules they have written down all the ects points they have written down okay and then uh, they have also given this uh, if you want to apply they have given the dates for uh, for uh, summer semester they have given the deadline of 15th of january for winter semester semester it's uh, july 15th okay and yeah basically that's that's the that's all about the course and the structure and let us also see how you can apply to the course <clears throat> yeah so as i as i as i already mentioned about the deadline so they are clearly written down here and uh, you have to submit a short cover letter your cv and then you have to fill in the online form and then uh, you have to provide your academic certificates transcript transcripts of indi individual grade and you have to provide your bachelors and you must be having at least 130 uh, ects out of 180 okay even if you have not finished your uh, graduation right so you can you have to apply at both the places uh, international office as well as to the university okay it's a good place for you i can tell you and then they here they, you can see they have given uh, like uh, every every candidate has to go for the entrance exam it's a 90 minutes course and uh, uh, this course this test will be, will be scheduled after uh, three week two to three weeks after the application deadline right so and that you can see here and they have also given these uh, links here where you can uh, see how to prepare for the test and they have also recommended two books here if you are from biology background you can just buy these books online i didn't check whether these books are available in your home country but yes you can check online and see if if it's not available in your home country it's better to order it beforehand so that you have enough time it gets delivered and in the meantime you can prepare for the exam okay it's really a great course who is interested to go into biochemistry uh, and coming from the medical background okay so let's proceed to the next course next one is epidemiology it's a really wonderful course i would say it's related to health study right uh, what kind uh, what kind of diseases are uh, prevailing what kind of common diseases for example we are into this current uh, pandemic situation so uh, this is the scope of this course this kind of pandemic situation so it's really high demand course chances of settling down are very high and the good thing is that it is not very competitive not not many candidates might not be applying for this course so you can consider this course if you are coming from medical background and even not from the uh, medical background if you have studied about health uh, health in in your bsc in your uh, even if you have done bachelor of arts degree for example you should, you might be from medicine background you for, you might be from pharmacy background you might be from chemistry biology 
mathematics uh, psychology social science economics law and others you must have a little you must have studied little bit about health sciences then this course is definitely for you because it's not going uh, in my personal opinion i feel this course might not be very competitive still you can check about it so that's a great course to go for because it is still not known to many people and it can be a ticket for you to come to come to germany and study here and have a nice career so just think about it okay to get into this course you have to take the written and oral exams and oral exam is more of a online uh, interview so you have to take the written online test and then you have to attend the personal interview then that's the admission process basically for this course okay and they are looking for advanced english competency which means you must having at least 7 each in your ielts exam i would really recommend that if you want to get shortlisted and the semester fee again 100 128 euros which is nothing for this course also you have to apply at international office and here let's check out the course details here <coughs> it's a msc course and it's offering uh, we can see analyze problem problems related to health related fields okay what are the diseases and the risk factors involved uh, if a person get ill or something so it's studying about different kind of diseases and how to deal with them how to create awareness about them so how you can treat them so basically it is more of a people who are not even coming totally coming from medical background they can also apply for that if you have just studied little bit of health courses so that's really go, a great course to go for as i already mentioned you can you can go uh, if you are from any background you can apply to it sports science economics business administration law communication science and another health sciences discipline so you can definitely consider consider this course even if you are from not medical side it's a good course to go for okay if you carry good english skills and uh, you have good experience you have some ngo experience from uh, let's say you are working for some ngo you in this pandemic time you worked for some ngo to support for corona virus and all it's really going to add value this experience really going to add value and you will be having a very high chance to get admission so think about your experiences how you can relate and if you are coming from non uh, even from not from medical background you can definitely consider it okay and let's go about the requirements of the course and application process in more detail okay so here they have clearly written down how to apply they have again mentioned that they are insisting again and again on every page that it doesn't matter from which background you are coming in okay good knowledge of mathematics and stat advanced competency in english past written and uh, oral entry exam in english and then they have given the deadline for winter semester is may 15th uh, 2021 so you can start preparing for the course okay <clears throat> so here they have mentioned about the international applicants so uh, it will be a two part process for international applicants okay so you can just go check in detail and you if you want to apply for this course you can apply and the written exam will be between may to june 2021 and the uh, oral exam somewhere between june and july so if you want to consider they have also given the scope of the exam what will the exam uh, what topics will be tested in the exam and uh, what topics will be tested in the interview process you can check and see if you are interested okay and uh, you can they have also given some hints uh, how you can prepare for the exam they have also uh, referred some books here which you can refer for the exam preparation okay and uh, for example mathematics they are looking for functions and graphs basic calculus and then probability stats right all the references are given if you follow them you can easily prepare for this okay yeah so you can apply directly to to uh, yeah you just have to send over your all your documents to this address by post and you can apply okay and there are no tuition fee for this program again so which is really good i would say just think about it uh, generally i would say you must think to apply for four to five courses at least when you are looking forward to study in germany then you will be fine you will be definitely getting admission at one or two places and you would be good okay so yeah basically let, now let us move on to the next course okay uh, just a second i have to close the window it's getting cold here now okay okay 
दिस इज एग्जीक्यूटिव मास्टर्स इंश्योरेंस इन इंश्योरेंस ओके इट्स अ एम बी ए प्रोग्राम हु वॉन्ट्स टू स्टडी रिलेटेड टू इंश्योरेंस समटाइम्स पीपल टेल मी ओके आई एम फ्रॉम द इंश्योरेंस बैकग्राउंड वट काइंड ऑफ सब्जेक्ट्स वट वट काइंड ऑफ डिग्री आई कैन डू इन जर्मनी सो दैट कुड बी द डिग्री इफ यूर यू हैव वर्क एक्सपीरियंस रिलेटेड टू इंश्योरेंस रिलेटेड टू रिस्क रिलेटेड टू बैंकिंग then you can consider this course to apply right it's a business degree it's a in this they are asking for good level of english and basic knowledge of german so you can definitely consider this course if you have some basic knowledge of german and uh, you are coming from insurance background right so uh, to get the admission they will you apply for this course uh, you just have to fill in the form you and you have to send in all the documents by post and with your, all your certificates recommendation letter whatever checklist they have mentioned and then they are, if they, if they like your profile if they like your documents they, there will be a 20 minutes interview basically in that interview they want to see what kind of person you are are you are you able to hold the communication are you confident enough to hold the discussion they want to see if you carry the experience you are capable to talk to the people then this course is really good for you and if you have you, if you are interested to study insurance and also in the next slides we will also talk about uh, program related to english program related to economics so just stay with me and then you will get lot of information if you are not from technical background okay let's see uh, in more detail about this course okay that's the course website uh, actually you can see uh, uh, all the details are given here um you can see that uh, munich school of management it's it's offered as it's a mba program so it is being offered by munich school, munich school of management as i already said it's a it's a branch of lmu itself okay and then it's a it's also uh, supported by institute institute of risk management and insurance so how does the application process work for this for this course okay you have to just submit the cv photo copy of your certificate certified copy of uh, uh, qualified first degree and uh, one year of relevant experience they are asking at least so which is important you you must have to keep this in mind okay and then recommendation letter from your employer if possible and evidence of basic level of german right okay deadline for this course is already gone for 2020 so for 2021 definitely they will be opening up and then uh, you can expect the similar kind of deadline you can start preparing for this course you can start adding value in your experiences which you can show okay and then you have to send over all your documents to this address and there will be a 20 minutes interview as i already said so if they like you as a person you are able to speak well you are able to communicate you have the confidence you carry the knowledge about the insurance so you will be the right fit for this course so just think about it and then you can apply okay let's let's move on to further course yeah let's talk about the mba courses lot of people tell me okay there is no free mba available in germany there are still lot of free mbas available in germany it's only about you have to search well and you have to look carefully then because there are, now you can see on the screen there are lot of courses m master of business administration master of business and research media management and digital technology so there are lot of courses available you just have to uh, search accordingly and you can consider it doesn't matter whether you are coming from it non it medical non medical you can apply to this course right it's a munich school of management you can just google about it you will find all the details and uh, uh, you have to fill send over the written app application to them by post and then you must be having a good english and then uh, if you have a gmat score of 500 greater than 599 i which means more equal to or more than 600 you will be directly admitted or they, if they like your application they like your experiences you will directly admitted otherwise you have to go through a test if you clear this test then you will get admission but let me tell you gmat 600 is nothing you can easily gain it after putting in some efforts i can tell you okay semester fee for the mba course is uh, 150 less than 150 euro which is a really good offer i can say you can consider that course if you really want to study mba in germany and it's going to add lot of value right let's let's go on to the course website <coughs> 
yeah uh, before i uh, talk about this mba course i also want to mention okay uh, they offer lot of administration related courses for example somebody who has just finished uh, 12th or uh, first year in india or in other country the person can go for business administration in bachelors that's a really nice course right and then they have a mba they have a human resource education and management this is again a master program i think you can check it okay fine and then uh, master of business is master, master of science in media management and digital technology it's really a great course to go for you can check the requirements about it and you can apply accordingly and then there is a european triple degree which is a exchange program i think it's really good that you come here uh, you get chance to study at three different universities it's a great course to apply for okay uh, uh, ex executive master of insurance which we have already discussed about okay now now uh, let's check this mba program in more detail what i was talking here fine so yeah who can apply uh, so we are looking for students with a high level of initiative and team spirit who are eager to acquire advanced knowledge and skills in business administration so anybody can apply who is coming from economics background or some other background okay uh, the person must be uh, fluent in german and english and then they have given the checklist of documents uh, and the, uh, also they have mentioned some dates here you can check right and then the application de deadline is uh, may 15th so you can prepare for this accordingly okay fine and they here they have given what i just mentioned that if you have already taken the gmat you can directly apply to the course and there will be a personal interview and uh, if you uh, if you do if you have not taken the G GMAT and your score is less than six hundred, so in any of the situation, then you have to go for the test. And afterwards, there will be a personal interview. And one thing you have to be really careful about is that you can apply only two times. You applied once and then you didn't clear. Second time you applied again, then they they reject you and they say, okay, third time you cannot apply for this course in Germany. So you really have to prepare yourself better. Then only you can apply. Okay, you have to fill in the online form. You will get which you will get by email, and then you print it, sign it, and post it together with all the documents they have requested, which is a straightforward process to apply. You can consider to apply for this course. Okay, so let's move further into the next course. With now, I will be talking more about the non-technical courses. If you are coming from non-technical background, not just uh, uh, engineering or some other courses, right? So. If you are coming from Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Economics, Bachelor of uh, Science, Bachelor of Technology, so you can consider this course. This is available only in the winter semester, and they want to assess three things in you. If you are applying for this course, uh, they want to see your micro economics knowledge, they want to see your macro economics knowledge, and they they want to see your empirical economics knowledge. So if you feel that you you have that kind of knowledge, you carry that kind of experience, you can justify, you can answer these questions you, you can def definitely apply for this course and uh, uh, there is a direct admission with grades if you have uh, two out of five points if i talk in german grading system if you have two no two notes out of five notes right then you uh, you straight away get admission there will be no further check so it's it's a clear indication that if you are coming from non technical background and you have study economics and you go, you scored i think two will be somewhere more than 70 or 75% you can see if you have that kind of marks then that's a sure short chance for you to get admission in this course really it's definitely going to give you put you into the uh, economics uh, courses and then you can have this uh, the career good career in germany in europe uh, in this area if you are looking forward to study economics right if your uh, grades are somewhere between 2 to 2.5 then you have to uh, pass some test which which is given on their website fine and this is the co these are the course details you can see uh, international applicants and then here you can apply uh, through this on, online tool dates are between april 1st to 30th and they are asking for english knowledge and, um, and you can check like what level of english knowledge they are looking for you can check yourself and you will find more details okay they are not supporting any kind of financial they are not providing any kind of financial support and there will be a written test which will be in munich and then uh, okay fine 
went to our bachelor degree program for the yeah so as i said they have clearly written that what are their requirements so you can see if you carry that kind of uh, scores that kind of marks you can straight away apply for this course okay so yeah let's let's check other links about this course yeah so uh, they are looking for a good IELTS score if you in case you upload your transcript of uh, yeah so they are looking for good English knowledge if you have that okay and then uh, you have to upload CV and they have also mentioned that you don't have to take the English language test if you if you have already taken the IELTS or TOEFL then you don't need to uh, go through the test that's a really good thing and the, they have also given some indication about motivation letter I always recommend when writing the motivation letter just try to reach try to see the website what kind of hints they have given so they have clearly written that they are looking for a for a motivation letter between two to three thousand pages uh, three thousand characters okay letter should describe the goal in pursuing the graduate studies as i said in my one of the videos about the cover letter right motivation letter you should establish the connection with the university why do you want to study at this university why do you want to study at this course what value will you gain out of that so they are clearly mentioning okay in particular why would like to complete the master's program in economics at lmu the letter has to be inserted in the prepared text field in our online application tool so you just have to write the copy and paste your content in the in their tool and that's it okay and the good thing is that gre gmats are not required which is really advantage and uh, letter of reference not required so do you don't even need to provide letter of references okay and uh, in case you be careful if you miss anything in the application they will not contact you back to ask anything they will straight away do not consider your application so be careful while filling up the application form you really have to think about it before submitting you have to review the application multiple times then only you expected to apply for this course okay so let's check the last link why what's yeah i think we have already discussed about the application process yeah and they have given that uh, this is another link where they have mentioned what are the required documents and then there is an online application tool okay yeah which we have already discussed and the final thing uh, they have also given some uh, test of admission right they have given okay uh, what they are going to test microeconomics macroeconomics empirical economics mathematical methods and they have also given you the references what you can uh, what kind of things you you are expected to prepare for while going uh, for, for the exam and they have also given example problem set you here you can see what kind of uh, uh, questions you can expect and there are some instructions about the day of test which is really good so you can consider that too and when you apply for the course okay and then there is a test evolution you can also look for that i didn't read it in detail you can check for yourself if you are interested to apply for this course it's really good for people who are interested into masters in program in economics it's a kind of mba here so that's really good course to target i would say right let's let's go to the next course uh, so if you want to do masters in English then you can also consider uh, it's a winter semester and your grades must be better than 2.5 so which is not that bad I would say and re for written proficiency you have to go through the C test and you have to submit an essay of 1000 words right C test is nothing that they, they give you some text and then every other word will have some missing spellings so you have to complete those words. This is called as C test. You can Google more about it and then you can prepare for the test. And you can also check for the test references on the on the website. Again, semester fee will be 128 euros, which is nothing. It's an online application. And uh, here are the course details. Uh, they have clearly written down how the fee structure will be and how uh, what will be the C test and what kind of score they are looking for in your grades. Right. So. So here they have mentioned the requirements for the course if you want to apply you have to complete a selection procedure so you have to go through that so basically yeah, it's a two stage process first stage will be you have to submit all your documents including your grade and all your grades must be 2.5 or better as I already said and then uh, you have to submit go through the C test which I already mentioned 
ओके फाइन एंड देन या बेसिकली दे हैव गिवन ऑल द शेड्यूल फॉर द एग्जाम यू कैन आल्सो सी दैट ओके एंड देन हाउ द रिजल्ट विल कम इन आफ्टर 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 टेकिंग द टेस्ट and if they have clearly mentioned that if you have scored between 77 to 100 points in their test then you will definitely get the admission if you if you uh, you will be invited for the selection interview if you have uh, points less than 77 then you will not be invited for the interview even and i'm sure there will be somewhere how you can calculate the points on the website you can try to see more on the website there, you, there should be a possibility to calculate the points and then you can see okay and these are the application deadlines and these are the required documents what you have to submit and uh, they will also share the essay topics uh, from 1st june when you want to apply so which is really good you can consider well in advance okay and they have given the minimum uh, score requirements for ielts they are looking forward to 7 points i would say just target for 7 bands in ielts score you whatever course you are applying in germany you will be fine just target for that level of score you can apply any course in germany right so now let's move on to the next course i want to speak about okay yeah basically that's it and uh, yeah if you so it's a good combination to go for technical non technical courses mba degree if you are looking forward for a free mba in germany settle here so these these are the courses definitely you can consider in this way uh, in the same way i will be covering other universities in my future live session i have decided that i will be doing those these live sessions every week so consider to join mostly i will be doing on thursdays this time i had to move it to friday because yesterday it was the 31st night so i thought it's better to move, have it on the first and uh, and and that is the reason i don't have a uh, few people today few of the people are missing today that is the reason i i think because people are busy in the new year and all with their family they are on vacation so but still every time you can uh, you can uh, attend my session on thursdays so um, i'll definitely i try to have it uh, have the notification two or three days back you can check my channel you can check my telegram groups you will find all the information fine so let's move on to the questions part you can you can share your questions if you have any questions okay okay uh, shalesh says uh, what about the job opportunities if i understand your question quite uh, correctly you are uh, you are talking in context of these courses so once you uh, study here you you gain relevant experiences in your internship you do your master thesis then definitely it is possible that you get a good job the the process here is little bit different in india you get the, you get chance that lot of companies are coming into your campus there is no concept of that campus placement here in germany you have to approach the employers but the good thing is that you gain the practical knowledge while studying you don't feel like uh, for example uh, when you are studying masters here sometimes you don't feel like you are studying you feel like you are uh, uh, doing some practical work and that's why you gain maximum knowledge while learning and then you have high chance to get placed uh, and it, so try to do some internship when you go for uh, when when there is a last semester is for speci specially for internship and master thesis so try to make best use of it and even during uh, when you are looking for a part time job try to look for these kind of part time jobs where based on your bachelor degree based on your past experiences you join you can join some employer as a master student you can uh, you can join there as an intern as a trainee and then you can work there 20 hours a week then definitely those kind of experiences will add lot of value to get to get a job after you finish up your masters right so it's you just it's a ongoing process you have to prepare uh, well yourself do all during the course what you want to study how you can gain such experiences so that in long term after you finish your masters you get a job in that field itself okay uh lecture thanks for the compliment i uh, really thank you that you liked the video you liked all the videos i hope okay and uh, sir what is the consecutive uh, con consecutive master program uh, sonal uh, it's not consecutive it's a executive master program it is more of for the people who are ca carrying one to two years of experience and sometimes a benefit of uh, doing executive master is is that uh, duration might be only for two semesters if you are not looking forward for the longer course not you, you can't spend two years 
at a university after uh, have, after working for two or three years in your home country and you, you are looking forward to just come here for study for one to two years for example this uh, master's master's in insurance this mba program then i don't know what's the duration they have uh, two or three uh, three semesters you can check that but definitely it's an executive program so there will be a uh, duration might be less and you will be getting more practical knowledge compared to uh, normal mba programs so you can think think about that uh, uh, asan is asking can a dependent visa be obtained while you are studying here so unfortunately it's not like australia new zealand and canada you cannot have a dependent visa here because in canada it's possible in some cases to get the uh, dependent visa while you are studying for your dependents for your wife or kids right but in in germany it is not possible so you just have to come alone and um, your spouse can only join once you start working full time but i tell you one thing uh, there is another way which you can think about definitely you apply for master course you go into the master course and you come here you start studying and if you carry a good experience you carry a great bachelor you have done your bachelor study personally i do not recommend that but still if you are you want to have your family as soon as possible then what you can do you come here you study and then uh, you start also start looking for the job in parallel if you find a full time job for yourself then you you can leave this course and you can work as a full time employee you can apply for blue card and then your family can join you but personally i will not recommend that because overall you have spent so much effort you have spent so much money you have spent so much time to get the degree you get into that degree then it's better to finish up that degree and then at least gain that master degree which because if you are studying in germany that's a really prominent place to study you it's going to add lot of value in your international it's because this degree has an international value right so you will definitely gain a lot of a uh, lot of experience lot of knowledge so it's better that your family can join you later on after you finish the degree but yes there is a possibility you can do that if you want so yeah basically uh, i think i have covered most of the questions and uh, yeah i also want to mention that uh, you can download my free best practices resume guide you will find lot of information about how to write the cv which will help you to uh, to get selected if you have a clear cv giving out the relevant information to the admission committee then it's going to definitely help you you can also write to me uh, on my email you can send over the query i will definitely answer in couple of days so yeah so really happy to see you guys today uh, and uh, definitely have a uh, i want to wish you again have a very happy new year and this new year brings this year brings lot of value lot of success in your life whatever you are looking for you are looking for a job in germany or europe you are looking for looking to study in europe so all your dreams come true so good luck that is for, that's it for today and hopefully next session on thursday Uh, will be on Thursday itself. I will share two or three days before. So you can also join my Telegram group where you can you get all the information and you can also the ask the questions there. I am directly chatting with the people, answering their questions. So it's a good chance for you to get all uh, answers to all your questions. So I really enjoyed today's discussion. Okay, uh, maybe I should answer Asan's <laughs> last question. So in that case, can my spouse join me once I have the job after my degree? Yes, your spouse can directly join once you apply. You start working. You just have to submit your appointment, uh, like salary slips, your other documents, uh, accommodation related documents. Then definitely your family can join you here. Okay. So yeah, definitely you can ask all these questions. Whatever you are asking in the in the chat, you can always ask in Master Study Germany Telegram group. I am answering directly all these questions very quickly. You send the you post the question in the morning and uh, you get the answer in couple of hours, maybe on the same day or or latest by next day. So which is good. So normally, if you write email to someone to ask these questions, first of all, you don't get the answers. or if you get the answer maybe you send the email you get the answer by after a week but this is a really good way or you join the telegram group and you get the answer quickly so that's the really way i'm very responsive there okay yeah lakshya thanks a lot and happy new year to you as well and yeah so it was nice talking to you guys and uh, have a nice evening and have a new a nice new year ahead so that's it for today so talk to you guys next week
Okay.